Someone posted on my MSI Twin Frozer 2 Golden Edition GTX 465 um, in the comments that many of these could be unlocked to GTX 470. So my curiosity was naturally piqued. Um, one of the reasons that most GTX 465s can't be unlocked to GTX 470 is that the GTX 465 does not have the same number of RAM chips as the GTX 470, even though it does use a 470 reference PCB. But what I found out by removing the 10 or so screws from the back of the Twin Frozer 2 uh, limited edition cooler here is that this GTX 465 does have 10 RAM chips instead of being missing two like a normal 465. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is uh, putting the cooler back on it and seeing if I can actually unlock full GTX 470 performance from the GTX 465, and I should put that in quotes because it does have 10 RAM chips, golden edition, uh, limited edition video card. I put the card back together and did a quick vantage run at just stock clocks, stock voltage, just to see sort of where we land. And I'm going to try following the unlocking procedure, which I will show you in a couple minutes, to see if we can unlock GTX 470 performance from the Twin Frozer Golden Edition. All right, well, the first step in our slightly unusual video card BIOS flashing procedure. Uh, it's unusual because we're going to have to force the BIOS flashing utility to overwrite some parts of the card's firmware that you normally wouldn't, even when you're updating a BIOS. So because we want to change it from being a 465 to a 470, and we're going to overwrite with a 470 BIOS, we have to do things a little bit differently. So the first step is to use this command nvflash dash dash erase eprom and then we press y to confirm now it is very very important you do not reboot your computer at this time because you have erased you basically just erased without replacing uh, firmware from the card so the next step is going to be nvflash and we are going to put in some additional commands here and then let me just double check what I've gone and named the file so I'll just leave this camera here for you to look at and apparently it is mashing the space bar which is a bad thing right now okay there we go okay 470.rom. So this is the part where we're actually going to flash the GTX 470 firmware onto our 465. So PCI device ID override detected. Yes, we do want to do this. So we're going to type yes in all caps. Overriding GPU mismatch. Yes, we want to do that as well. And overriding the board ID is only needed. Yep, we are we are overriding the board ID because we want a 470. Now, bear in mind, uh, unless you check that it has 10 RAM chips, and even then, uh, this won't always work. I take no responsibility for you bricking your card because that can happen. In fact, it's quite possible that I have bricked this one. So we're going to go ahead and uh, remove my flash drive and reboot and find out if we're going to make it back into Windows. I hope we do. Maybe I'll let you stay along for the ride. Okay, first step is going to be uh, getting it to post. It posts, that's good. It has to get a lot further than that though. So in theory this is a GTX 470 now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some Vantage benchmarks on it and see if the score actually improves now by unlocking it to a 470 Not only do we actually get to use those additional two chips of RAM So instead of being a 1 gig card, this is now a, I believe it's oh shoot 1280 or something like that um, So 1.2 something gig card. So there's that and we also unla unlock some additional memory bandwidth and As well as a couple of other functional units on the GPU itself, so we should get quite a significant performance boost out of this 
and uh, for nothing, for no additional cost. So, yeah, this is a very interesting thing that MSI has gone and done by producing a, um, a GTX 465 that is basically just a 470. It's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Mind you, it's not really sheep's clothing when you go and put like that beefy, crazy, all copper cooler on it. Okay, so we're into Windows, so the graphics card sort of sort of works. I may actually need to reboot here in order to get it to be detected properly, so um, maybe just bear with me. Oh, no, there it is. Okay. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 470. So uh, I'll be back in a minute and I'll show you the full result, but it looks like it worked. Well, let there be no doubt, this is a GTX 470 now. You can see GPU-Z brings up all of the information here. So it is now a 1.28 gig card rather than a 1 gig card. It has a 320 bit bus width rather than a 256 bit bus width. And it also has, uh, let me see, yeah, it has an ID that says GTX 470. I ran Vantage again. We score 17,886 marks. So that is a very, very significant boost over the 14,000 and change we scored before. There it is. Confirmed. It takes about two minutes to do the flashing process, as you saw, and uh, you get a whack load more performance. So this card actually looks like a tremendous value. Thanks for checking out my video blog. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips and unboxing videos.